Many people believe that the only way to manage this disease is to replace the joints. And I'll tell you that for many people, it's a good way to manage the disease, but for the vast majority of people, they don't need that. So the natural history of osteoarthritis is one where the vast majority of people, whether you're a man or a woman, whether you have knee or hip osteoarthritis, never need a joint replacement. So a lot of people are told that the only way they can have this problem managed is to have their joint replaced, but there's lots of other ways it can be managed. Again, just to reinforce to you, joint replacement is a wonderful procedure. It's incredibly cost effective for the right person at the right time. Unfortunately, that's not the way it's currently administered. Okay, so one in four people that have a knee replacement have a bad outcome. What does that mean? That means the pain that they came in with is no better 12 months later to the pain that they walked out with. So one in four people that have a knee replacement have a bad outcome. Many of those bad outcomes are predictable. So if you're depressed, if you're what we call morbidly obese, if you have little if any radiographic change and if you have low pain, it's much more likely that you'll be one of those one in four people that has a bad outcome. The other important statistic here that I think a lot of people often ignore is that for the average person that has osteoarthritis in a knee or a hip, they have 2.7 lower limb joints affected. So that will typically mean they'll have two knees and a hip or two hips and a knee that are affected by osteoarthritis. If you replace one, you've replaced one of those three. It doesn't fix the other two. A lot of people say that, sure, I'll have my knee replaced and I'll get active and I'll lose weight. Well, the studies that are out there suggest that the people that have those joints replaced don't get more active and they continue to gain weight. So it's not the way to fix the problem if we look at this as a societal burden.